Welcome to the Corporate Treasury 101 podcast. I'm Hussam. And I'm Guillaume. In this podcast, we are going through the fundamental concepts of corporate treasury, which I learned from my experience working at a big four consulting company. And he'll explain it in a way that someone like me who knows nothing about the topic can understand. We hope you enjoy the episode. So, Guillaume, could you take us over uh, corporate finance? That was second on your list of the four main pillars of uh, Treasury. You said it was cash liquidity, Mm -hmm. corporate finance, financial risk management, and bank relationships. So, please take us through corporate finance. By all means. So, corporate finance is rather broad, but let's focus on the Treasury aspect of it for the moment, right? So, corporate finance in Treasury could also be said as funding and investment management. So we'll come back to those two topics in a second, but we just talked about management of cash and liquidity. So collecting money, paying your counterparts, making sure you can raise money when needed. This is rather short term, right? Now let's take a look at the long term. Funding, for instance. So how does it work when you want to make a huge investment? For instance, buying a building to transform it into a store or building a new factory. This obviously requires important amount of money, right? That you hardly have on your bank account. So you'll need to find money to finance it. We call this funding. Now, investments part of the corporate finance. Let's take the other way around. You have, for some reasons, important amount of cash, of money, but you don't have an important investment to make. So you have cash that you are are just not using. And you want to invest it because cash can bring more cash, right? This is the very basic principle of interest, for instance. So the banks are willing to lend you money because you pay interest on it. They earn money thanks to money. In corporate treasury, you want to make sure that you can fund your activity and or business. And if you have a lot of cash, you want to make sure that it brings you as much additional cash as possible. Okay. Could you give an example of each one of those? One for funding, perhaps, and one for investment? Absolutely. So let's say I'm a car manufacturer, right? Um, Business is going quite good lately, and I want to expand it in Asia. But my current factories are producing at maximum capacities already, and I'm selling all my cars. So I need to build a new one. This is, so to say, a huge investment, and I need to find a way to fund my factory. There are multiple ways to do so. Um, Asking your bank, issuing new shares on the market if you're a public company, find private investors, etc. We're not going to go through all the funding instruments we have on the markets in this episode, but what you want in a nutshell? Well, you want to make sure you have the best conditions on having the money on time, having the right amount of money, and eventually not paying too much interest on it. So you want cheap money in order to fund your factory. For investment, um, let's say you're still a car manufacturer, right? But completely different time. Business isn't going so well in one of the regions you are operating in, let's say Latin America. So you want to get out of the market. Um, So you decide to sell all your stores, all your factories there, you completely close the business. You eventually find a buyer that pays for all this and now you sit on a huge amount of money. What do you do with all this cash? Well, you want to invest it and gain interest on it. Again, the more risky the investment, the more money you'll get but also the higher the chance of losing it or part of it is. Okay, so we covered the area of funding and investing, which is what makes up corporate finance. It's the funding and investment yep. activities. Indeed. So funding is when you're uh, gathering cash in order to fund an investment in something, to yep. get the money together. And there's financial instruments that you took us through there, which I'm sure we'll go into more detail at a later stage. Mm-hmm. And then investing is finding ways to spend that cash in ways that will drive your business forward, right? Whether that's exactly. expanding businesses in factories, other markets, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. Very Absolutely. clear. Thank yeah. you very much. And Kim. actually, I may add, thanks to your summarizing, the investment you can make is also in your own activity, right? Yeah. If you own a huge amount of cash and that you have this opportunity to invest in, well, you might fund it by yourself. So it will be cheaper to fund. Mm-hmm. And also, according to different criteria, well, it might be a profitable investment to make. Indeed. Okay.